Welcome to large bore check valve assembly. So we're going to be installing the new seals on the cap. First, to install the peak ring. You can see the cap is well lubricated already, and the seals have been well lubricated. And we're putting the rubber seal on now. We're ready to go. Last thing you want to remember is the Parker Super O-Lube. Use the rest of the tube on the lead-in edge on the cap and the rest of the seal. There's some scotch braid here. scotch braid's used just to clean all the surfaces up on the body, especially where the sealing surfaces are on the cap seal and the check valve seat seal. We've got a few things we're going to install. We're going to install the O-ring. We're going to put some white grease on it. We've got our clapper hanger assembly we've got to install. And before we get into everything, we'll just talk about PP. Again, we're doing this on site. Uh, it's still, you know, half an hour left of work to do, but FR coverall, steel-toed boots, hard hat, safety glasses, impact gloves. We're going to be using those a little bit later. So first thing we're going to do is put the seal in. It just pops into place and just feel it all the way around. A little bit of assembly grease. Because all ready to go, we've pre-installed the pin. Remember, it's 35 pounds, so there's a little bit of weight there. Now we just have the wave spring in the cap. Wave spring, and then the cap. Hangers in place, we're ready to fly the cap in. Cap's like 300 pounds, so watch your pinch points. And down. A lot of times your seal will start to engage in the body, so we've pre-lubricated all the studs, so Allen screws are in. You notice the nuts. One side has a nice smooth surface to it, and the other side has the writing on it. Writing always goes up. So you can see the smooth surface there. You can see the writing on the cap here, so on the nut. Okay, so we're into the final torque stage. The first stage is at 1,000 foot-pounds. That's been done. Now we're going to go to 2,600 foot-pounds, and then we do one more time around to make sure none of the nuts are moving, and we just got two studs left to work on. So we're using a simple machine today, high torque. Uh, there's lots of machines out there you can use. It's pretty simple. Just, um, just remember, hydraulic hose is here, so you got to be careful of that. There's always pressure there. And this is your pinch point, so you want to make sure of that. So. So you can see how it's just a cork turn every time. It's usually really handy to have two people do this. So.
And that's it. We are torqued up. We are ready to go. So the last thing we do is torque seal. We just torque seal the nut to the stud. And all that is is just a quick visual reference. When you're in here and the hot zone's down, what you're going to do is look at your look at your torque seal. And just make sure it's not cracked. If it's cracked, that means the nut has moved. You'll have to retorque everything. And that's about it for assembly on the check valve. Uh, like we say, it's 300 hours or 150 stages. And you're in here and doing it. It takes about approximately an hour. Um, the other thing is after 12 hours of operation, you want to come in here and retorque the cap. And then probably 100 hours after that, you just want to check it. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Reach out.